Hey, welcome back to the channel again. Um, so, next uh, next little upgrade that I've actually had on the shelf for a while. It's a uh, thumb throttle control. Um, that way you can basically on a climb or whatever else, you can just, it's like a bike lever, I'll show you in a second. You can set your throttle RPM to whatever you want and it will stay at that point. Basically, you just steer and use your brakes. Where sometimes when you're climbing stuff or on rough rocks or logs, your foot's kind of bouncing around and your truck's, you know, revving, bouncing, revving, bouncing. It's not as smooth as it, as it could be. So, uh, let's see what we're doing now. All right, so this is from TerraFlex. Part number at. Uh, TerraFlex, uh, part number 4870402, throttle hand control kit. So I got everything uh, opened up, unwrapped. So it's basically kind of like a bike shift lever in a way. And then you mount it wherever you want, most commonly off of a TK shifter. So it's uh, obviously within easy, easy reach. So I'll figure out where that's going to go first and then uh, go from there super simple obviously your cable your cable uh, wrap tube jacket some washers miscellaneous stuff here um, this is a L bracket for the throttle body we'll see if it works on my particular one if not I'll have to probably make one similar if it needs to be a little bit longer on one side we'll see so uh, really nothing to it just Mount it at the throttle body, mount it at the shifter, and then route the cable. And you're pretty much good to go. Let's get started. All right, so with the kit, they give you this very generic 90. I'm sure it's made to work on some some variation of a Jeep, I'm sure. <laughs> Everything's made for a Jeep. And obviously, that's not going to do anything on my throttle body here. So, on a 5.0 style V8, Sits on the upper intake. Throttle cable attaches to this and it pulls it back to open. Um, the first idea would be to like share this stud with the thumb throttle, but that could possibly put both cables in a bind or something hung up, and we obviously don't want that. So I'm going to take the recommendation from Brian Racy. He made a bracket off of this lower bolt hole and then basically instead of pulling back with the throttle he attached something to where I believe the TV cable or cruise control or something went so it'll pull this direction. So I made up my own little custom bracket here on eighth inch steel. It'll share the bolt hole and then it drops down And it'll be at a slight angle just so the cable's basically pointing at this situation. So this is a quarter 20 stainless steel bolt. I used a little grommet. This hole's actually like, I don't know, almost 3 8 Downsize the hole of the grommet, put the bolt in from the top. It's a one inch bolt. Cinched it down with a star lock nut. And then after I get the cable figured out, the cable will loop on the bolt here and then we'll have a, like a safety washer and a lock down the bottom so the cable will not come off for sure and then the adjustment just like anything else will be right here all right so the thumb portion mounts to your TK shifter I mean you can pick whatever shifter you want to do it on I chose to do it off the rear stick in between the two that way it won't get accidentally bumped when I'm all the way forward and low, I can still easily reach down here and adjust it. It comes up and back is how you adjust the uh, thumb throttle. And then uh, sharing that bolt with a P-clamp, and then it routes right out the firewall. There's a uh, factory hole where the throttle cable and uh, cruise control and all that stuff or whatever came through. Comes out of the firewall. 
underneath the uh, upper intake. Nice wide bend in front of the distributor. And then straight back to where the bracket's gonna go. Won't have to cut that black jacket at all. Um, I'll just cut the cable how it's needed and wrap it up. Oh, and it was a perfect time since the throttle body is out to give that a nice clean. That hasn't been cleaned since since I did the 342 stroker on this motor. It was pretty dirty. All right, everything's installed. The bracket I made. So what I did here is uh, I just put two washers and I wrapped the wire around twice and then holding the top nut, which these are already tight, but I held the top nut, torqued down the nylock nut and sandwiched that wire between. Left myself a little bit of slack, so that's not going anywhere. So easy project, a little bit of uh, modification needed, not too much. And uh, there's no no bind. Just loops right from the wall around the motor, and it works great. I'll uh, insert two clips here after this to uh, show how it works. Alright, so that wraps up another uh, upgrade of the truck. Again, something small, something easy. Um, just need time to do it. So look forward to uh, getting on the trail and testing this thing out on some run on some rocks or whatever kind of crawl and not have my foot bounce around on the gas pedal. So looking forward to it. Like always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you on the next one.